Remember when I did that huge Sephora haul and I said I would be looking out for dupes? Well, I've done a couple, but I believe that there's a couple of products in here that are very special that I wanted to bring to you that are definitely worth the money. Hello, my friends. I'm going to be sharing with you some high-end products that I have been absolutely loving, and I think that they're worth the money. I do realize, though, that not all of us have that kind of a budget. We can't all just go out and purchase $35 for a setting spray or $30 for a blush or whatever. It's just not in our budget. So I have come up with some a little bit of alternatives for some of these. Some of them I don't, but I have a couple of alternatives, and I wanted to show them to you. So let's get into that right now. All right, the first product that came into my life this year, and I really, really love it, is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. And I can't remember what mine is in, but I'll make sure I throw it up there on the screen for you guys because I can't see it without my glasses anyway. This is a beautiful foundation that gives you a satin almost a dewy finish to it. So it's not one that is going to self set. You're gonna need maybe a little bit of powder on it, especially if you're wearing it during the summer months, which is what I did a lot. But now that it's winter, I'm finding that I really love it for my very dry skin. It's just really pretty on the skin. It lays really well over mature skin with big pores. It helps to hide all the imperfections that I have. I have age spots and redness. So it really does a great job. And I do think it's a fantastic foundation foundation. However, I realize that not everybody can afford this price tag either. So my alternative would be to look at the number seven protect and perfect advanced all-in-one foundation. This has a sunscreen in it, just like this one. It is the same consistency as this one, as far as the way that it applies and the finish that it gives. You really do have that satin, almost dewy finish with, without leaving your skin looking oily or anything like that, but it does probably need to be set down, especially if you're oily and especially if it's one of the summer months when it's more humid. I can tell that both of these would need that in the summer. However, in the winter with my dry skin in this area across my forehead and across my cheeks, I don't have to do anything, but I do need to set it a little bit through here. I just think that both of these are beautiful. I think that the number seven definitely dupes this out. Maybe not an exact dupe. I know that I like this better than the It CC Cream. I actually like both of these better than the It CC Cream. They do give me better coverage without looking cakey. So I wanted to make sure that I talked to you about this because I do feel like it's a really beautiful foundation that if you can afford it, it is one that I would recommend highly. Another product that I really have felt fallen in love with is this Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector and I have mine, I think it's in the medium color. And it is just a very balm-like texture. It is very emollient, it's very creamy, so when it goes underneath your eyes and you're doing your concealing, you're not gonna get one that feels like it's drying you out at all. And I think that is such a special property for any sort of a color corrector is that it doesn't make you dry out because it's gonna show those wrinkles more if it does. But for so many of you like me that have terrible dark circles, you have to start out with something like this. It makes a world of difference. And this one plays so well under concealer and I've absolutely loved it ever since I got it. However, again, I realize that not everybody can fall into this $30 price tag. So I also tried from NYX. Now this one has all different colors in it, but it does have this peach color over here and you can mix it with this color down here, which is a little bit more of a yellow concealer color. Now mixing the two of them, really does a great job of the same color correcting as the Charlotte Tilbury. It is a little bit lighter, so I find that if you're a deeper skin gal, you might have to go in with this mixed with the peach right here just to help you out a little bit. You do get all these other fun colors in here to do color correcting. This one, which is the green, that's for redness. If you have red cheeks, you can do that one. Go really light-handed. If you have a sallow complexion, which means a lot of dullness, you can go in with the lavender you know, through the cheek area as well and that will brighten it up stay away from this area because we're already purple or blue and then the yellow if somebody is very warm toned and they have this area right here that's a real struggle with them so the yellow one will work as well and even though i feel like the consistency is very very similar i do feel like the charlotte tilbury will wear a little bit th better through the day 
but again, if you don't have that price tag, this is a really good substitution for it. One that I don't have a substitution for is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and this says party all night and stay all day. And but what it does is it has a little bit of polymers that will lay across the skin and give a blurred effect to the skin, but it's really great for holding the makeup in all day on all day long. Now, Scandinavia is one that I normally use um, that I really love that is a dead on dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter. You do have to order that usually off of their website or else off of Amazon. And I really like it a lot. However, um, that one doesn't have the polymers in it that give that really kind of blurred, um, diffused look to your skin. And especially through these areas right here, you can spray it on your face over and over again and it just looks gorgeous on the skin. So this is one that I haven't found a dupe for yet, but I'll be looking. I'll be continuing to look for you guys. I think it's a great product. Another one that I don't have a substitution or a dupe for is the Dior Forever Concealer. And this is awesome. This is a concealer that self sets and I love the consistency of it for my under eyes. I love everything about this concealer. Huge doe foot applicator. You don't really need that because you need such a tiny amount to do the concealing that you want. This one, again, I just felt like laid beautifully on my mature skin. It was just one that I could just, you know, pat it out a tiny bit, let it set a little bit and go back and pat it out again. And it just performed like a dream. And I don't have any other concealers that I could substitute for that except for maybe, and I will say this is a big maybe because this isn't necessarily a perfect dupe for it, but the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, it definitely mimics it in that it doesn't, you know, show up a bunch of dryness, but it has a great coverage on it. So if you, again, can't afford this price tag, try the e.l.f. Camo and make sure that it's the hydrating one because I found that the original one was much too dry for my mature under eyes, but this one is kind of special and kind of stand out. It stands out on its own, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that this is really a close second. One of my very, very favorite products that I got this year is from Fenty Beauty, and this is their cream. It's underneath the bronzer category but this is definitely a contour look at that color it is so muddy and it works absolutely gorgeous on the skin if you're somebody that is fair to medium now i know that she has deeper colors because she has the gamut but this one is so perfect for being that muddy color that helps to just go in as a shadow and make that part of your face that you want to recede. I'm wearing it on my chin and my jowls right here, my jawline. I'm also wearing it to carve out my cheekbones a little bit and then through the forehead area to bring that forehead down. This is gorgeous cream. It just is one of those creams that doesn't get too slippery and wears off quickly. It really has a lot of staying power. And once you put over any powder products that you're gonna put over top of it, then you just have it locked in and it's really bulletproof. I really love this. I've had this since whenever it came out and I think that it came out I want to say that it came out the end of last year, but I'm not 100% on that because I think that people may have had this in their favorites last year, but I hadn't tried it. So I love this cream one. I haven't tried any of the other bronzers, but I know that this works so easily in blending and it works just beautifully for the perfect contour. Now, if you, again, can't afford that huge price tag, Sephora has this one that I have talked about a ton on my channel and it is in second chance and it's got that same muddy muddy property to it and it's going to be very close to this although this is a powder not a cream and i would highly suggest that one you can see that it's just a little bit more on kind of the brown side but i use this one like crazy this is like my second or third little pan of this and i've used it to death and i will continue to recommend this because it is the perfect contour as well so it's just really pretty it actually looks like it has a little bit more red in it which is good if you are cool tone but it works great for warm tones anyway. You and can make this super dark. You can build it up a bunch. So unless you're a super deep toned skin gal, this should work on everybody's skin tone. Actually, the Fenty would come pretty close as well. But yeah, if you can't afford this, try this, even though it's not a cream. And that's the reason that I really fell in love with this. But 
they both do their job and they both are beautiful, beautiful products. All right, the last product I was so skeptical about because it just didn't seem to make sense to me, but every single YouTuber that I watched their Sephora VIB sale recommendations had recommended this Patrick Ta blush. And yeah, it is really special. It's really a beautiful product, the way that it blends, the way that it lays, the flush that it gives the cheeks, it is so pretty. So it's a duo blush and it has the powder here and then he has this great divider right here for the cream product up here. You put the powder on first and then you put the cream on over top of it. And I'm telling you, even though it seems backwards, it really is a special blush. Now I have that one that's called She's That Girl and I really love this. I have it on this side, but I did use something else on this side that I'm gonna show you that you could easily substitute. I think that this is one of the prettiest blushes for just giving you a very soft flush on your cheeks that doesn't look unnatural. And I hope that makes sense. So he has like four or five colors and they're all just as pretty as this one. But I chose this one because it's really good for my coloring, the pink is. Now I really wanted to try the deeper one and just kind of, you know, lightly play with it. But this one worked out so good. So it's a cream and powder duo, which I really love. And again, if you, if you cannot afford this, this huge price tag, which I know so many of us can't. You might try this as a substitute. Now, I'm not saying that this is a straight on dupe because the consistencies are a little bit different, but they're pretty darn close in color, as you can see on my cheeks. The CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed Blush, and this one is in Love Me. This is a beautiful color, and I love the texture of this blush. It's very soft and very um, buildable, like the Patrick Ta blush is. It just goes on gorgeous. And so you put that one on first, and then go in with this one from e.l.f., which is their multi-stick that is a cream product right here. And go, I just run my stipple brush over top of it and then stipple across my cheeks. It's really darn close to use these two products instead of the Patrick Ta blush. And I realized that this one is probably about $14, I think, for the two of them. It might be different. I'll make sure I flash it up on the screen. And then this one is in the upper $30 range. So you are still saving a lot of money. You're getting a little bit more product here. But I feel like I love this blush and I'm so glad that I did purchase it. So if you're somebody that's looking to splurge a little bit and looking for something really fun, the Patrick Ta blush is gorgeous. Packaging is beautiful on it. So that is the roundup of the things that I feel like are worth the splurge, but having alternatives that you could go and buy at the drugstore and love just as much. I feel like those are really pretty good matches. Not maybe dead on dupes, but really good matches for you guys. So that's everything for today's video. Everybody, please give this a thumbs up. Did you find anything this year that you just fell in love with and you feel like is absolutely worth the money? And I don't care if it costs $2 or if it costs $22. It would be worth it to me to hear from you. And here is our little guest star that comes in every time at this time of the video. And <laughs> he loves to lick me. And when I've just done my lipstick, I don't like that. Anyway, everyone have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you all very much. Please stay safe and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye friends. Bye.